The Elgato Stream Deck is great, but what if I told you there's a cheaper option for less than half the price? This is the VSD Inside, and it is a Stream Deck alternative. And, and we're gonna see how good it compares to the normal Stream Deck, because the Stream Deck is a great product, and what makes it a good product is its software. So, and today we're gonna answer the question, is this good enough for streaming, recording, or just using as a simple macro pad for certain applications. So make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna have more videos like this one. The Elgato doesn't come with a stand. I had to 3D print my own stand with my 3D printer and this one comes with a stand already built in. You can put it at two different heights and the Elgato did not come with a stand at all. So if you have a 3D printer, maybe you can 3D print the stand, but not everyone has a 3D printer. This one comes with a removable cable. So if anything happens to the cable that you're using with this thing, you can take remove and replace the cable. So if you wanted to use a even longer cable, your computer's like halfway across the room, and if you have a USB-C that's long enough, it'll probably work with this. So that's another pro with this. With the Elgato, you can't remove the cable, and if something happens to your cable or just over time, it just gets messed up, you're not gonna be able to replace the cable. But when it comes to software, I have no clue which one's gonna take the cake. I'm pretty sure Elgato's gonna take that, but we'll check that out later on in the video. But we're gonna look at the buttons. The buttons on here are basically, from my opinion of using both of these, they feel the exact same as the Elgato. They, they just feel exactly the same. They're kind of a little bit mushy. They feel exactly the same as the Elgato. I'm not gonna lie. They feel 100% exactly the same. This is just three extra buttons down here at the bottom. So this one technically comes with more buttons, but this these buttons down here are to change the page. So this is to go page left. This one's to go page left. This one's right. And this one just goes to the home page. When it comes to buttons, um, I think it might be a tie when it comes to the buttons. But let me know in the comments down below which one you would rather have. Um, my Elgato Stream Deck is over there on my other desk, and I'm going to have this one for this desk. And we'll see how it works. Now we're going to take a look at software. Now, the software is kind of where things are going to be, okay? So looking at this, hopefully the software is really good. Um, let's start. All right, so let's take a look at the website for VSD. VSD Inside. Let's take a look at the website. So the website, VSD Inside. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't really know like how good all their other products are. Like first impressions on this one right here. The first impressions are actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. And um, it comes in white, it's pretty cool. So if you're if you're looking for a white version, you can get that. And there's, a, there's already a coupon. They sell this for regular 85 bucks. Looking at their little video, like they, they, they put some work into it. I don't know, I just, it's not bad. For a cheap product, it's not bad, you know? It's not terrible. Their software. Their software, there's gotta be a catch somewhere along the way. So let's take a look at the software. So this is the inside website where you look at the plugins and everything. So let's take a look and scroll down and look at some of their plugins. I have some of their plugins already installed that we're gonna test out for OBS, but there's all of these Meld Studio, by Meld Studio, okay. Wait a second, they're already here? Oh. They're already inside of the store. Meld Studio. Okay, here's my Meld Studio. It's all my stuff where I, I stream and everything. Check me out on Twitch if you want to check out the streams. Maybe you can ask me some questions about some stuff. Um, but let's take and see what we can do with Meld Studio. So there's show scenes. Let's take and put that up here. Our scene. So let's select just chatting. And we press the button. Boop. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't have anything set up on Meld Studio right now. Like all my cameras are, they're all plugged into, you can see, you can see that camera. You can see the camera. Yeah, um, here we'll have this camera. 
let's take and see what else we can do. So we can start recording. We go live. We can affect visibility, layer visibility, um, monitor track monitor. So you can turn on and off the monitoring of a track. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure everybody is going to be using this. So if you're streaming and you're just like, oh, that was a good moment. Let me clip it. Bink. You can clip it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to clip. This is with the software. I don't know if clips are working. Maybe, maybe it only works when I'm recording. So let me hit record. I have this here. I'm gonna just press it. Oh, it is working. So you, as you can see, when I press it, if you look at the little clip thing up here, bink, it saves the clip. I thought it was broken for a second. I thought it was broken. I was about to say it's not loading anything down here. I can't change anything. It's not clipping anything. So it is working. So let's take and set another show screen. Change it to let's the game. Boom. Completely. Let's set this to our top down camera. Uh, let's set to the Mac. And there's my gameplay. Wow. That looks amazing. Uh, it's working. It's, it's working pretty good. And, uh, it works with my old studio. Um, uh, let's put these stop and start recording up. Uh, let's replace this. So now if we hit this it stops recording. Okay. This, this works. It works surprisingly good enough. Like I, for 40 bucks, you're kind of expecting, um, it just to break the entire time. And, um, you're expecting it not to even not to even to connect to the majority of the software that you want to use. But if you're using Meld Studio, and I'm pretty sure this works with OBS, when it comes to using this thing, I think it's pretty simple. You have to make an account for, you have to make an account for the website to get any of the applications and stuff. And some of the comments are like in Chinese and all that other stuff. But I mean, it's probably fine. If you know what you're looking for, you have to make an account. You have to make an account for the stream deck as well so it's kind of the same thing so if you don't want to make an account when it comes to using it works pretty good it's pretty easy to set up and i think it's worth getting i might actually get another one test it out seeing if it's the same kind of quality let me know if you're going to pick something up for this price or are you just going to go with the normal stream deck and just be able to use that and pay the extra money for the better software. And I'm not gonna lie, the software is, when it comes to this, this has a lot of features. So, you know, and the three extra buttons that you can program to whatever you want, it might be worth getting, it might be worth getting. So without further ado, hopefully you guys enjoy this little review. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little review slash first impressions VST VSD macro pad. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to get one. And without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Also, let me know if you enjoyed the setup. I did a video on setting this thing up. I changed a couple of things, but we don't need to make another video about that. But hey, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Check out this video right right here or maybe subscribe. Or maybe check out this video right here. Or I don't know where the videos are. They're probably like right in this general area. The video is probably over. Bye.